Uh, all right, uh, so I'm gonna try to talk about this node thing. Uh, so on the guitar, I can't see the whole thing. So the guitar, it's fixed at one end, fixed at the other end. And when you play the node, so these these dots here mark the, the 12th fret, which is halfway between uh, this side and this side. So when you normally play it, uh, you play the note, you press down on the fret, and you shake this side of the string, and this side of the string doesn't shake. Um, when you play a harmonic, you lightly push. You just like lightly push your finger on it, like that, instead of pushing all the way down. Instead of pushing all the way down, you lightly put it on. And you play the note, but this side and this side of the string vibrate. So this is what it sounds like when you do it properly. Right, I'm playing harmonics on all of those, right? Rather than playing the note. So it turns out that for this, playing the note, I'm playing the fundamental, is the same as playing the, the second harmonic of the full length, right? Um, but there are other ones where it's slightly different. So if I look at uh, a third of the way up the guitar, so this length is a third of the way, and this is two thirds of the length. I play the note, that's the actual note, but I play the harmonic and I'm playing a higher frequency. So what's the difference between these two things? So this is actually the question from the homework, right? There's a, is it a homework question? Yeah, it was a homework question, right? I push down at this point, I play the note, I'm playing the fundamental on this side, so there's no node here. I'm just playing the fundamental for that length of the string. And this side of the string is not vibrating at all. When I put a node there, when I, when I play the harmonic, I'm playing this higher note, what's happening is I'm putting a node there, which puts a node here. So there's a node there, so there has to be a node here. And so I'm playing this, this harmonic of this whole string where there's a node there and there's a node there. And that's what gives this higher frequency. I can do the same thing. If I, if I move up to, uh, this is a quarter of the way, which means that I put a node there, that means I have a node even, a node evenly spaced everywhere else. So I have one there, I have one there, I have one there. I get an even higher node. And that's opposed to when I actually push down on the guitar, I'm playing and just pluck it. I'm playing the fundamental of this length, and this side isn't, isn't uh, vibrating at all. So those are, those are playing the notes, right? Um, <clears throat> so one of the things you talk about is when like real musicians play, they don't like screw up. Um, it's because musicians are rarely playing the notes, right? When, when, they're, when they're playing, they're actually pushing the fret down and playing, playing notes. Whereas if you were to play the notes, the, the nodes, you'd be resting your fingers gently on all these. And musicians don't play those, right? And you're totally right. Like there exist nodes everywhere. You just have to be able to find them. One of the most, the favorite one is there's a node right at the right at the edge, which is sort of like a mute, <laughs> which gives a really nice sort of sound. Um, the other thing you mentioned is that uh, when musicians play guitar, it's rare that they don't make a note when plucking. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> um, uh, a lot of musicians actually play stuff called ghost notes, which are the intentionally duff notes. So like the blues has a lot of it, right? If you play like a, a, like a blues one.
Um, cheers. <laughs>